We're talking about uh, charity shops and what you can find in there. Elaine's got in touch with us. Uh, she's in Ipswich, but also has a, a YouTube channel. Elaine, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Thank That's you for joining right. us. Yeah, tell me all about it. Oh, well, it's a hobby that I've had forever and a day. So, you know, shopping in the wonderful charity shops in Ipswich. But I turned that hobby, if you like, into like this whole YouTube thing. And every Saturday, I show people on my YouTube channel the things that I've bought from the charity shops. From I occasionally will go to car boot sales, but it's more charity shops that I love. And is it the clothing that you you hunt out, or are you branching out into other areas? Well, you know, we spoke, we got in touch about your mug yesterday, and it's <laughs> my poor mug, brick oh, a brack. Dear. Brick <laughs> anyway, I've got over it now. Oh, you've got over that. Well, I picked up this incredible cup, and it was um, somebody had given it away. They'd obviously been to Buckingham Palace. It was a golden mug, bone china, and you know, I thought fifty p. I'll have that. So I feel mm. very special when I drink my tea from that. Very <laughs> nice. Uh, but it's mostly clothes because that's my thing, really. So, are you giving hints and tips on what to look out for when it comes to vintage clothes? Absolutely. I was. Um, I'm talking on my show last Saturday to this wonderful lady who specialises in looking out for vintage clothes and she gave me three tips. Uh, have I got time to tell you what they yeah, are? Yeah, we've got about two and a half, three minutes, so uh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, so the first tip is to look out for metal zips because zips, you know, uh, um, oh, okay. were metal way back in the day. All right. And yep. that's the first thing. And then also to touch the fabric. And the mm. fabric is either going to be very heavy or much lighter in weight. Um, so the fabric quality. And then the third thing is to look out for those wonderful labels. The labels are a giveaway. Yeah. I picked up something the other day, literally on Saturday. Uh, do you remember Polly Peck? I do, yes. I picked up a Polly Peck dress. The charity shop in Ipswich. Big shout out to Cancer Research. And it was a pound. Wow, that's fantastic. Well made, going to last, isn't it? Absolutely, it's beautiful. They're benefiting, you're benefiting. Uh, yeah, the thing is, um, everyone's benefiting. We're keeping clothes out of landfill, you know, if we kind of shop in that way, encouraging people to take their clothes they don't wear anymore. You know, it's like, you know, that 80-20 principle where people are literally only using 20% of the clothes in their wardrobe. Yeah, you've been talking to my wife about my shirts, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Far too many shirts, I was told the other day, yes. No, my man can't have too many shirts. So um, you're trying to get us all to do this? Because I, I suppose the thing is, you know, we can turn... The, the last thing you want, particularly as a woman, is, is to turn up somewhere and somebody else is wearing what you're wearing. And the chances are, if you've got a really good charity shop, fine, maybe you've upcycled it or whatever, um, no one else is going to have that. Absolutely. Um, the Mayor's Ball is coming up soon. I'll be going. I, I've already got my pre-loved charity shop dress I will be wearing. There is not a chance that anyone else will have anything like that. Pre-loved. I love that phrase. Mm. My mum's favourite song. Any ideas? She would have loved you. Oh. Any um, ideas? Mm, gosh, you put me on the spot. No. Barbara Streisand. Oh, second-hand rose. Yes. Ah. <laughs> now, of course, it would be pre-loved rose. Oh. She's just a pre-loved rose. Oh, but it just sounds so much more attractive, doesn't it? And I, I want people to think that this is the way to shop. It's so much more ethically sound, and and it's just creative. Uh, and, you know, sometimes I'll invite people to come on to my pre-loved Chica show on YouTube and just talk about what they've bought. OK, oh, perhaps, you can, perhaps I can guest with my ugly mug one week. Oh, Brick well, a brack. Now, listen, I really want to do a show just for men. Do you? I think we've, I think we've got a conversation to be had there. <laughs> Where can we find you? Where, what do we find you on uh, on YouTube? What do we, what do we type in? Well, if you just type in "preloved chica," C H I C A. Um, that's right, and you okay. find me. And, and and any listeners there would like to come and join me. If you've got a secondhand bargain you want to talk about, then that's what it's all about: sharing what we've bought. Brilliant. Thank you very much for joining us on the show today. Got to leave it there. On FM and online. This is BBC Radio Suffolk. So into YouTube you go with pre-loved Shika. C-H-I-C-A. Pre-loved Shika. And you can find Elaine on there. 
Maybe me and McMug one of these Saturdays, you never know.